always having to add engine oil to your engine. Then stay tuned, because today I'm going to help you answer the age-old question, why does my engine use oil, and what can I do about it? Now generally engines either leak oil, or they burn the oil, so first check for engine oil leaks. Now if you're having to add a quart of oil quite often, the leak would be quite big if it was leaking, so you'll be able to see it dripping under the vehicle. Look under the vehicle for wet spots around the engine where it'd be dripping, and of course, Look on the ground to see if there's big puddles of oil. Because if you're leaking that much oil that you have to add a quart every once in a while, oil makes giant blobs. A quart of oil would leave a football sized field blob underneath, and you'd be able to see that it's leaking. So if you don't see large amounts of oil either on the engine or dripping on the ground, a leak isn't your problem if you're going through a lot of oil. It'd be burning it in that case. But if it is leaking oil, here's a trick I've used for years. You get some of this UV leak dye, and you pour a little in the engine oil. Then you get one of these UV leak light detectors and yellow sunglasses, and look for where the green dye is coming out, and you can find the leak. As you can see when I put the yellow sunglasses over the camera, and shine the light, you can easily see where the dye has come out where there's a leak. These UV systems are great for finding leaks, you don't have to clean everything off and get it whistle clean, and they pinpoint exactly where the dye is coming from. But let's say you don't have any leaks, and you're losing oil, well that means it's burning it. And in that case, you want to hope that it's just a clogged up PCV valve that's sucking oil into the engine and burning it, because otherwise it's serious internal engine damage. Now on this Toyota, it's kind of hard to find a PCV valve, you got to take the stupid cover off. And here's the PCV hose. We'll follow the line down, and it goes to the valve right down here. Once you pull the hose off, you can see the PCV valve right here. Now sometimes they get old, and they get stuck open, then instead of sucking vapor in, they'll suck oil and burn it in the engine. Now these PCV valves don't cost much, only a few dollars, so you might just take it out and change them every once in a while to make sure they don't get clogged up and suck oil in the engine. Now if you try all this, and you still find the engine's burning oil, then take out a spark plug. And if you find that the spark plug is full of all kinds of burnt things like this one is, then that means that your engine has a serious internal problem like bad valve seals, worn piston rings, it's going to cost a lot of money to rebuild the engine to stop that. But as you can see by the gallon I have here, you can put a quart of this Lucas oil stabilizer in, it can often help slow down the oil burning and let cars run a few more years before the engine finally goes out. And of course realize you can prevent that from happening in the first place by doing regular oil and filter changes in the engine, then you won't have to deal with this problem to begin with. So now you know what to do if your engine starts using a bunch of oil. And just pray that it's a bad PCV valve or an oil leak, and not a worn out engine. And remember, if you've got any questions, just visit the Scotty Kilmer channel.